So there we are. We've got this huge crowd. And we got this little bit of food. How, how's this going to work? Jesus looks at it and says, Father, what in the world do you expect me to do with this? All I've got is five loaves and two fish. That is not nearly enough for these people. I don't know how you expect me to meet this need with this amount of food. I, this just will not do. I, I don't think you're being fair to me, Father. I think you've put me in a bad situation, and I'm, I'm tired of this. Is that what Jesus said? No, he gave thanks. He gave thanks. And if you read on in the gospel, you'll find that when it refers back to this miracle, the reference is to where Jesus gave thanks and fed the multitude. If you want God to bless what you have, give him thanks for what you have. Stop belly aching about what you don't have. Well, I don't see why I can't have a car. Are you glad you have feet and legs that work? I have a son who had a car, but he had to drive it with hand controls. And every time he went to get in the car, he had to transfer from his wheelchair into the driver's seat, and then he had to reach out, even if it was pouring down rain, and take that wheelchair apart and pass it over and put it in the vehicle next to him so that when he got to work, he could take it back and reassemble it in the pouring rain and then transfer into it and then roll into work. Are you grateful for what you have? We all have a lot more than we tend to recognize. As we said back in November, if tomorrow all you had was what you thanked God for today, how would you do? Count your blessings.